Luma could only be described as a stunning image worthy of publication on NASA's Astronomy Picture of the Day or as a new category as Astronomy Picture of the Year, Finnish astrophotographer J.P. Metsaviano has produced a gigapixel class image that took 12 years and 1,250 hours to produce using a variety of instruments and equipment. Welcome friends, Dr. Jim Daly of Astronomy for Change here, your host, bringing you along on a 125 degree ride along the Milky Way from Taurus the Bull to Cygnus the Swan. We begin our journey out in open space in this wide field view looking north-northwest with the waxing crescent moon to the west along with mighty Orion the Hunter. And needless to say, all content will be linked to in the description section below. His final image, 100,000 pixels wide with a final resolution of 7,000 by 1,300 pixels, a stitched mosaic of 234 frames spanning 125 degrees of the sky from Taurus the Bull. Here's the famous V of Taurus. Okay, and this is right eye is Aldebaran, the red giant star Aldebaran. By the famous supernova remnant known as the Crab Nebula or M1. To Cygnus the Swan. To find Taurus, we locate Aldebaran here and then trace out the famous V of Taurus right here, okay? The famous supernova remnant we can find here using Stellarium. Right there, Let me zoom in on it, wide field view. Zooming back out, we're gonna trace, starting here, in this region of the sky. Okay, he begins here in his image, which we'll get to shortly. We're going to trace out 125 degrees from M1 all the way down to Cygnus the Swan. Passing the sun. This is out in open space, just out to Cygnus the Swan right here marked by Deneb, the bright star Deneb, as the tail of the swan with the other two stars in the famous summer triangle, is Vega and Altair. Okay, so we're going to mark them and get a sense of where we are in the sky. This is a view using Stellarium to get a sense of where we are and the extent of Mr. Metzaviano's image and his work, all of which we will see in stunning detail shortly. Here we see his final image, small version of his final image, superimposed on a star chart. We begin over here in the east with Taurus the Bull, as we discussed earlier. When we move along, this is 125 degrees, starting here and winding up down here in Cygnus. Okay, here, here we find M1, right there where we are, right there. That's where the great supernova remnant is, the great Crab Nebula, known as Messier 1. The M designation stands for Messier, was Charles Messier, an 18th century French astronomer whose um, primary interest was looking for comets. He was a comet hunter. So all his entries in his catalog was basically an exclusion list of what not to look at if you're looking for comets. So that's the first entry in his catalog of, of 110 objects. So we start there, we move 125 degrees along the sky. We can see here's the Milky Way in the background on the star chart. And this is the image of Mr. Matt Saviano's image, his final image, superimposed on here on the star chart to illustrate the expanse of the sky that he imaged all through here, winding up down here in Cygnus. Here we see the larger scale images, image, images produced with this 27 and 30 centimeter or 11 and 12 inch diameter telescopes set in their respective positions and interlaced on the broader Milky Way. And as an example of one of the large scale images, the California Nebula in the constellation Perseus with an image of the full moon shown to scale. 
Mr. Met Saviano began the project in 2009 and concluded it this year for a total of 12 years on the project and 1,250 hours total exposure time. Much of the time during the 12 years, time not included in the exposure time, included image processing, an often tedious but ultimately rewarding exercise. His images have been featured on multiple occasions at NASA's Astronomy Picture of the Day in the world-class publication Sky and Telescope, as well as National Geographic Discover magazine and others. And here we see how the 234 image frames spanning 125 degrees of the sky were stitched together. The final 1.7 gigapixel image is 100,000 pixels wide with a final resolution of 7,000 by 1,300 pixels, as mentioned previously, and is a stitched mosaic of 234 frames spanning 125 degrees of the sky from Taurus the Bull in the northeast to Cygnus the Swan at the southwest, punctuated by the famous Dumbbell Nebula or Messier 27 at the southwest in the constellation Volpecula. It should be clarified that the total exposure time was approximately 1,250 hours between 2009 and 2021, not total time spent on the project, which was considerably more. In addition to the telescopes, filters, and supporting equipment mentioned previously, the broad expanse of the Milky Way was captured using a 200 mm f1.8 and 300 mm f2.8 lens. All detail will be linked in the description below along with his web portal and links to his portfolio. His observatory is located in the very center of the city of Ulu, O-U-L-U, -U, in Finland, and due to light pollution, much of the imaging is accomplished using narrowband filters. It's a standard technique where you want to restrict or select what colors or wavelengths or to completely eliminate spurious light from unwanted sources. The bright clouds of gas interspersed with eclipsed by or interlaced with regions of dust. Much of what we see in the image results from emission nebulae, clouds of gas that are emitting light in specific colors or wavelengths depending on their unique composition such as hydrogen, helium, sulfur, oxygen, or nitrogen for example or molecular combinations. Through dedication and hard work, he produced a world-class professional mosaic of the night sky that's one for the astronomy history books. The amount of work and attention to detail cannot be explained, described, or presented in a single video. So let's just sit back, relax, and enjoy this 125 degree trip along the Milky Way. This is Dr. Jim Daly of Astronomy for Change. May you come to love the stars too fondly to be fearful of the night. And remember, the Earth is a mote of dust floating in a sunbeam. That's reality. Everything else is just marketing.
the great philosopher Plato famously said, astronomy compels the soul to look upward and leads us from this world to another. Astronomy for Change is a nonprofit organization whose mission is to effect positive change through astronomy and science education. It is our belief that by inspiring and empowering current and future generations to become interested and engaged in astronomy and science, this positive change will be realized. If you found this video helpful and educational, please like, subscribe, and share. Also, why not consider supporting us on Patreon? Head over to our homepage, astronomyforchange.org, and click Support Us via PayPal or Patreon, and choose a membership level suitable for you. Every little bit helps, support, helps us produce the great content and further our mission. Also, why not consider becoming a member? Choose the membership, membership link here, click it, put your name and your first name or, and your email, and you'll be added to our list. You'll receive a comprehensive digest of all our videos and articles and all our great content. Joining and becoming a patron helps us grow and improve and more fully realize our mission. Thank you. This is Dr. Jim Daly for Astronomy for Change. Until the next video, please stay well and keep looking up.